Hey everyone, there was utterly shocking news this week when a politician actually did something he'd been promising to do for months when running for office. Nick Clegg said it was madness to pull out of Paris and that Trump's supposed to do the exact opposite of what was in his manifesto. Just look at David Cameron for instance, he promised a referendum to get Britain out of the EU and when he managed to accidentally deliver on that Brexit referendum he had to resign in shame and he left politics. Whether you agree with the Paris Treaty or not, and we will get to that later, uh, President Trump is entitled to do whatever he wants, largely because Obama signed it in the first place by making sure that it was defined as an executive decision that didn't require approval by Congress or Senate or anyone else, and Mr Trump therefore has a mandate to sign whatever he wants because he won the Electoral College, ridiculous as it is. And those who mentioned a popular vote, maybe try to fix that by scrapping it rather than just going on Facebook like a teenager angry at the result of the X Factor. This is like when people tried to fix Boko Haram a few years ago by going on Facebook, and sure, Nigeria is still signed up to Paris Climate Treaty, but the kidnappings are still a thing, and Trump is more of a Twitter person anyway. Seriously though, that electoral college system's ridiculous. It's worse than the US's insistence on clinging onto checkbooks or thinking that Nicolas Cage will draw on a crowd. Back to that Paris Agreement, though. It was a crummy treaty to begin with. According to the United Nations' own numbers, it would have cost $100 trillion to go through with it and yet only achieve less than 1% of the cuts that are supposedly required. And that's before we get to the contentious issue of is it real or not? And this is YouTube, so that's what the comments are for. But please try to be civilised, people. Personally, I would ask why CO2 levels were 10 times higher during the last ice age or why the temperatures are also rising in Mars and Venus in spite of there not being any humans there. Or at the very least, why is it the US taxpayer has to pay for all these power stations in China in spite of the fact that they've got more money than anyone else? At the very least, please don't try to gold President Trump, a man who famously collects towers by naming your treaty after Paris, the city famous for having the best tower there is. Anyway, see you next week and keep it civilised in that comment section. And if you like these, click on the channel to subscribe.